Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand context switching in operating system. The concept of process control block has already been explained in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, context switching in operating system. What does that mean? To understand this concept, we will try to take this diagram. We will use this diagram and we will try to understand this. So in this we are having two processes. One is P1 and P2. P1 is in, let us assume that P1 is in running state. Means the instructions of P1 are getting executed on the CPU and P2 is in ready state. Now whenever a, a, an interrupt occurs, it may be due to the uh, it may be due to the end of the time quantum the time allocated for that process or it may be due to the io instruction if any such interrupt occurs the process will get shifted from running state to ready state if it is the case of time quantum it will get shifted from running state to ready state and if it is in the case of uh, io operation it will get shifted from uh, running state to wait or block state so whenever an interrupt occurs a process will get shifted so the process will get switched from running to ready state so whenever that is getting switched so a new process will be switched from ready state to running state so this switching of context of the process is what we call it as context switching so what happens is here the context of this entire process will get saved in the process control block for example the instruction p1 is getting executed in the process of executing the instructions for example assume that in r1 we are having the value 20 r2 tw uh, sorry r1 we are having 10 R2 we are having 20 and R3 we are having 30. So in the process of switching, the P, as the P1 is getting switched from running state, so all the details of the general purpose registers and the process state will get saved onto the process control block and the details of the p1 so wherever the process p1 has stopped previously so in that previous uh, execution it there may be some context that is there for that p2 p2 so all those details will get switched from uh, the process control block to the general purpose registers okay so this is what we call it as the context switching so this pu uh, this context switching is pure overhead so time uh, uh, the the time taken by that concept uh, context switching is pure overhead so what does that mean is in the process of switching the pro, uh, uh, switching the context of the process so the time of the cpu is not utilized the cpu will sit idle so it is just an overhead to the overall operating system but it is unavoidable as we have to switch from one one state to another state so it the context switching the time taken for that context switching is unavoidable and uh, it totally depends upon the hardware and the type of instruction the amount of time taken by the instructions to switch from one place to so to switch from here to here and also the number of uh, uh, general purpose resistors that were we, uh, that we are having so all these are the factors which are going to decide the time taken by the process to switch from one state to another state okay so this is what we call it as context switching hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching